just when you thought you had seen it all in the octagon, we are graced with the presence of one Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali, taking his act to mix martial arts. Style. I mean, he's so pretty, John. Now he always uh, says, I'm so pretty. He looked pretty inside the boxing ring. He intends to do the same thing inside the octagon tonight. This guy is such a great athlete. He talks what he's going to do, but he also delivers. Olympic gold medalist, boxing heavyweight, light heavyweight world champion. He has done it all. A true icon in combat sports makes his UFC debut tonight. And to the surprise of some, he told us in the fighter meeting he's got an appetite for the wrestling stuff. So we'll see if Ali can mix it up a little bit tonight. Happy to have him here in the UFC. The greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali, has stepped inside the octagon and is ready to fight. kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. There aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting the takedown right away. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Muhammad And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee! The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. All right, we are underway with this stand-up only fight as we remind you of the rule set here. No grappling or wrestling of any type. Fighters also cannot do any follow-up strikes on the floor. May the best man win, and we are underway. Beautiful straight punch there by Ali. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Fast pace here in the early going. Big right hand. Lands a nasty body kick. Three minutes now. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Oh, nice jab. finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, body shot. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Oh! Slips. Nice, solid punch lands. All right, so that'll... Oh! Back and forth we go. 
go. These two guys are trading huge shots. Don't give up. Look, there again. Huge left hand. Able to check the high kick. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, but even if you block them a little bit, they still put damage on you. Lee gets caught by that straight hand. He's got some hands, man. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. He continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Oh. Round two straight ahead. Oh. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round underway. Nice jab by Ali. So he's landed a few semi uppercuts already, DC. You gotta think he goes back to it. I am almost certain he's gonna go and try to find another one of those. But expect him to really set down and try to make one really count. Oh, he was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, he's hurt. He's hurt. Up here, but he is on wobbly legs. Doing a really good job of using that reach advantage. Just misses with the straight leg. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots. Oh! Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in. And back to his feet. go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. Uh, two minutes, 38 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Muhammad Ali! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.